Hello everyone, welcome back to story time. Today's story is The Tiger Who Came to Tea, written by Judith Kerr. Are you ready? Sitting comfortably? Okay, let's begin. Once, there was a little girl called Sophie, and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that could be? It can't be the milkman, because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer's, because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be Daddy, because he's got his key. We'd better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door. And there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, Of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't take just one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful oh. and he still looked hungry so Sophie passed him the buns Goodness. but again the tiger didn't eat just one bun he ate all the buns on the dish and then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, Would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot and then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find he ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepan and all the food in the fridge. Gosh, he was a hungry tiger. And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all daddy's beer and all the water in the tap then he said thank you for my nice tea i think i'd better go now and he went sophie's mummy said I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for Daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. Oh dear. Poor Daddy. And Sophie 
why she couldn't have her bath? Because the tiger had drank all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So, Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a cafe. So they all went into the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they brought lots more things to eat. And they also brought a very big tin of tiger food. In case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story with a little bit of Makaton as well. See you again soon. Bye.